Now, even though Georgia farmers have had it up to here or maybe here with this rain this season, that doesn't mean the Stripling Irrigation Research Park in Camilla hasn't been busy developing new technology. That's right, Ray. Damon Jones paid a visit to their annual field day and tells us how new advances in irrigation are helping to save producers money. While Georgia might have received more rain in the first seven months of 2013 than it did all of last year, researchers at the Stripland Irrigation Research Park haven't slowed down their progress in seeking new technology. In fact, despite the heavy rains, proper irrigation remains as important as ever. Well, irrigation is important in our region in sandy soils because within four or five days, that water in the soil is pretty much left especially if you have an actively growing peanut or cotton or even corn crop, uh, they're going to use a quarter of an inch a day, sometimes more. And the number one goal for this research is, of course, efficiency. And that will not only save the farmers money, but also protect an important natural resource. Uh, we see that often these soil moisture sensor systems that are starting to become popular are able to help farmers conserve water in many years. And uh, that's good for our aquifers, it's good for our surface water uh, reservoirs. So finding out how we can irrigate our crops more efficiently, keep the water in the soil maybe a little longer, are some of the things that we're learning. That's news to the ears of the EPD as they continue to look for new and better ways to conserve water on the farm. It's a goal they realize is also shared by the farmers. There's no, there's no incentive for the, for the grower to overwater. The question is, can we put the right incentives in place to encourage folks to take those next steps towards conservation? Nobody's trying to overwater, but can we, can we get folks uh, moving towards a best practice when it comes to water that's even more, that takes advantage of some of the, con some of the technology we're seeing today? Speaking of that new technology, much of it was on display during the field day as visitors got a chance to get ahead of the curve by checking out the newest innovations. Well, there's a couple things that, that we're really happy to share, and one of those is our variable rate irrigation technology that we've helped pioneer that can really help growers do a better job of site-specifically managing their water. And another is the adoption by farmers of advanced technology like sensors for better managing their soil moisture. With the advance in technology and an ample supply of rain this year, Turner says now might be the perfect time for agriculture to lobby for less water restrictions. But the bigger point is the impacts on the resource are less even if you're using levels that are similar because the, the recharge in the aquifers and then the stream flows are in such a healthy shape right now. So um, it, it, now is the time for us to continue this dialogue when we're not facing extreme drought in the, in the, in the face. It's going to come back, we know it, but let's use this wet time to, uh, to get around the table and, and, and plot our course. So with new and improved irrigation systems on display and updates on current water issues, these field days remain essential to producers across the state as they might be using some of these techniques sooner rather than later. Because often what seems to be maybe a lab related uh, research project in agriculture will become uh, mainstay practices for many farmers within a short amount of time, sometimes within just a year or two. Reporting from Camilla, I'm Damon Jones for the Georgia Farm Monitor.